Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We have resolved the audio issues. We're here with you live, whether you want to hear us or not. We're here now. Uh, Gophers got out of a jam in the top of the first inning there. A couple of hit batsmen and a walk, but uh, Caden worked out of it. Uh, got a couple of pop-ups and a uh, strikeout to end the uh, end the threat. So uh, crisis averted, but he comes to the plate to uh, right the ship for himself here in the bottom of the first. Yeah, Chase Kiefer's on the hill today for the Saints. It's gonna look like he's going to get a rollover by Caden, but the throw is off by Nicely fielded play initially there. I think he just got himself carried a little too far to his left and just couldn't uh, couldn't make that throw. So Caden's going to reach on a throwing air. So Weston Nolte comes to the plate. Weston's off to a nice start. He's been hitting a lot of line drives kind of all over the field. Yeah, and he's actually had a couple I've seen here that uh, he's hitting hard and right at people in a couple of instances. And... Uh, But those have a way of sneaking their way through the next game or the next week, and you just got to keep hitting them. Whew. Looks like a good one to pull down the line toward Coach Baum. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if Caden gets going here. There he goes. Good lead. Not even going to throw it. No throw, and here we go. Runner in scoring position, yeah, ball tough, in there. Tough day to control the running game with the cold hands and wind blowing. I expect we'll do a lot of running today. Yeah. Whatever your catcher here, it's uh, gonna have a, definitely gonna have a tendency to sail on you. Yeah, if you can even grab it. Well, Weston takes the walk. We've got the first two men on base. We've got Jack Dornack coming to the plate. I see uh, Ely and Cherry are coming down tonight and tomorrow over in Hayfield. Okay. So kind of reminiscent of Purim making their way through uh, Southeast Minnesota last year. Yeah, Purim, uh, they played, I believe they played uh, Lourdes this year. Get down there, Jack. You're going to be safe at first. And we're going to get a runner for Jack, obviously, at uh, first base. Chase Johnston to hit, and who we got running there, Chris? Uh, can't tell you. I think it might be Ryan Rindles. Twenty. Or might be Slugger. Twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Aiden Johns root on the bases. Oh. Yeah, squares and uh, calls that one a strike. Base much there on first or third. Anticipate him to get running over there at first base, get both those guys in scoring position. Highly unlikely we're throwing anybody out at second base today. Yeah, she'd be a tough go. You're going to have to keep it down and uh, hope goes. for the best. Nice pitch over the outer half. Goes up one and two. I'd like to see Chase just uh, keep this thing alive and push this one over to the right side. Yeah, anything nice get one on the ground should do it with Caden on third. Ooh, good pitch. Up in the register, but good pitch. Count is even at twos. Gets a piece of that one. Swing by Chase. Chase has been shooting a number of line drives opposite field this year. His swings look pretty good. Coach Baum must think so too. He's moved up to the four hole today. Well, with this kind of weather here, you get that breeze blowing through. If he cuts one over to that right center gap, he could be uh, running for a while. Bring a couple of runs in. There you go. Push it to the, the right. That a boy. Way to get the job done, Chase Johnston. And the Gophers will go up one zip here in the bottom of the first inning. So manufacturing a run with a couple of fielder's choices and uh, we're off to the races. Carter Schlink comes to you the plate. Oh, 
like to see Carter just drive one down the line somewhere. Well, I know Carter put in quite a bit of work up at the yard this year in the off season, so hopefully that translates into some success this spring. hit batter. Well, once again, we've got uh, runners at first and third. Two down, though, now. Gale just looking to get himself on track as well. Big lead over there. need to do too much just got to take off big cut from kale like to see him just uh, it's always a it, you know big confidence thing here for kale if he keeps that head and uh, connected to his shoulder here he's gonna drive the ball and hit it hard yeah he's a streaky hitter runners gonna be off stand up at second base runners on second and third one and one We'll take a Texas leaguer or whatever you got in there. A little bleeder would be just fine. Two down and everyone's going to be running at the crack of the bat. Well, Kale got out ahead of that one. Kind of wants that one back, I think. He would have driven that one hard. Well, one nothing Gophers. And uh, always important to get that first run, especially in weather like this. You know, he kind of... They're at a premium. Yeah, for certain. Kale hit Run one. Out. Up. You never know what it's going to do with the wind here. Yeah. Good job over there ranging to catch that ball. Well, damage wind, is done here. Wind blew that one right back in. It did. Gophers go up one to nothing here in the bottom of the first. We go to the top of the second. We'll be right back with the St. Charles Saints batting. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans, to the frozen tundra of Molly Bomb Field. We go to the top of the second inning. Gophers leading this one, one nothing. Caden down in the register just a bit. One and zero. Oh. Kozak at the plate. Yeah, I think the the patience at the plate is going to be warranted today. It's going to be pretty hard to control. Caden just looking like he's having a little, just a little bit of an issue with that grip trying to come with a, a changeup or a breaking ball. Well, his hand looks purple. Yep. Probably pretty cold. Well, I talked to uh, to Scott McCready before the game. He had his lineup card for me, obviously. He's got them all. He's typed up for us. Well, I said, you know, every year, double header in this kind of weather. Last year, we had snow, rain, sun, snow again. And uh, then, you know, some sun to end the day. But uh, two years in a row now, we've had some uh, not so great weather for baseball, I guess. Yeah, had the four seasons all in <laughs> one day. 
Well, we took a couple nice breaker there, and we're going to have Rainmaker's going to come in and make this one. Ooh, that came in kind of took a little jaunt here right at the end. We took two there last year. We might just as well take two today. Yeah, yeah, get us back uh, with a winning record. Sitting here at two and three, I believe. Well, we were able to uh, see that game down in uh, La Crescent, and I kind of followed along in the Randolph game. But uh, Gophers have not been out of a game this year. They just uh, it's had a had an inning or so there. It's kind of kind of had a couple things snowball on them, and uh, just needed to stop the or stem the tide. But early in the year, they will get going a little hotter now. Well, you know, we're bringing back three starters from last year, Andy. So yep. that means we've got, uh, if you do the math, that's six guys out there yep. that have to kind of find their role. And we got to see how well we're going to work together and how we're going to come together as a team and see what fits best. Each game we've done something yep. a little bit different and, you know, we'll just keep getting better. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll, be, they'll be just fine. Ooh, that bender stays outside. Kind of get a... Look nice if you kind of sneak that in back door. He'll be in really good shape today. Two and two to Burlingham. Carter Schlenk over to first base to Weston Nolte. Away, Six Carter. three put out. That was uh, almost looking like he was going to think about taking that in between hop off the edge of the turf there into the uh, dirt. But Carter played that one nicely. Nice hop to him. Good throw over. Well, I know we had uh, Ian Anderson in here to do some field work here in the off season. I haven't had a chance to go out and check the lip. It got a little crazy towards the end of last year. You know, you need to have that done about every year. And Ian does a nice job on our mm -hmm. fields when he gets down here. And I haven't seen how we're looking out there yet. But it looks nice. Field's looking like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, those rains this week uh, really... That helped. Yeah, it definitely did. We lost a game on Tuesday. We had to reschedule, obviously, but uh, um, I think we'll take the whatever couple inches of rain we got this week. Yeah, three to six, depending where you were, yeah. where you're at, and where you're listening from. Ooh, nice job living inside. There you go. Two down, one and two count here. Caden working more efficiently this inning. And to get himself warmed up in that first. Hey, and that, that bender again. freezes him. Good breaking ball. <laughs> He's shaking his hand. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to do much with yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I don't know, Chris. I think um, we'll we'll see how the pitching goes. But uh, you hate to leave him out there too long. I know we're early in the game, but uh, we we got enough arms. I'd kind of like to see, you know, the. You know, few innings here and there, but if his pitch counts down and he's feeling okay, eh. Well, you know, a day like today, you start getting, right, feel a little better the longer you're out there, maybe. I don't, I don't yeah. know. I never was much of a pitcher, so, but I know from a throwing standpoint, that's always the case. You know, the more I threw, the better I felt. Yep. Literally on a cold day. Just out of curiosity, did you hear today? Are we doing two fives or is it two full games? Two full games, as far as I know. I, I don't think they changed it. I see Dan was walking around before, but. Well, uh, five inning game against. Uh, <laughs> he, he snuck up on us last year. And we, uh, all of a sudden, had five inning games, and I thought that would be nice happens. Yeah, exactly. Us important guys in the booth are sometimes. <laughs> Well, let's take a quick break here, and we'll uh, right before uh, Rainmaker gets up, I got to double check them connections here. All right, Chris, let's check your mic here. I think we got. Yep. Hold on one second.
Hi, Pop. Every there we go. We're kind of getting, uh, kind of, sort of. Going through there. There, I think we're on again. How's that, Chris? Yeah, it, uh, well, I can hear you. I can hear myself. That must be a good sign. Well, there we go. We're. Uh, <laughs> Record the Boltsy, Braden Horseman coming to the plate here, hitting in the nine hole, playing left field for the Gophers today. Now, Braden, I think uh, you know you. We always talk about the nine hitter being the uh, another leadoff batter. To have him and his aggressive base running on base is huge here going forward. I think I, if we can get him rolling on and and getting his on base percentage up there. Be in good shape here for the top of the order. Well, he started him off with a couple of curve balls that he kind of waved at there. I think he was sitting on a fastball. Braden's coming off a pretty good game over in Randolph. He had a couple of real nice rips there. Well, he sits right down, down this down time. The well, Golfers go down one, two, three. A little snapper mow him down inning there. Two complete uh, here at Molly Baum Field, and the Gophers lead this one 1-0 one over the St. Charles Saints. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans, and we think we've got everything taken care of. The cold weather is wreaking havoc on just about anything here tonight. Just Chris and I for this first game, and uh, Doug Nosbish, I believe, will be coming up for the second game. I haven't told him it's cold out, but... Uh, yeah, Doug <laughs> yeah. has a, this pesky <laughs> thing called a job. Yeah, he's... Uh, oh, that one slips between the legs there, and uh, Mr. Schlink is... Just brought his glove up a little early, and it did take that little hop underneath. Okay, Deldro come to the plate. Manly on base once again for the Saints. Caden comes set. 
Oh, and there's that breaking ball tried to bring her in there. Just having a little tougher time getting on top of it. Yeah, he understandable. Did. Looks pretty comfortable throwing the curveball today. Starting quite a few batters with it. Ooh. Lost it. Close play, though. Had him leaning a little. Yeah, that was that was close. He kind of kind of took that extra half step towards second base and got in a, a semi bad spot. So Manley with a little bit bigger lead. Yes, check swing. I get the call. So St. Charles, I think is, I think they're relatively young again this year. I want to say they are. They've got they had a bigger freshman group last year than obviously either are going to be sophomores, but uh, yeah, I think you're right. Little number there off the end of the bat. Caden's going to go to first. Smart play. Make sure we get the out. I think you wanted to go tag him, but yeah, you're right. Take that little uh, get set and throw that over to Weston for that first out of the inning. We ran into Mr. Boyum, Mitch Boyum, the other night at uh, having dinner on the way home from La Crescent. Yeah, we had uh, three or four different teams uh, <laughs> at the establishment there. and Seems like there's a little more Friday ball than there used to be. Yes, yep. Well, just a reminder here, that game, uh, ooh, nice ooh, move. Right in the posterior. Yeah, we had room for him. Yep, we've got runners on first and second. One down, force everywhere here. Um, that game from Tuesday night initially was a Saturday game. Um, I believe it's May 8th. It's a Wednesday night. That game is going to start at 3 p.m., however, because we have the academic banquet that evening. Nice job, Caden goes. Let's get one here. Over for the out. Oh, boy, I even thought about that for a split second. That was a close play. <laughs> I was writing my, my entry down in my book here, and I thought maybe I missed something there, but he's going to the dugout. We got the out. So just about the perfect spot for that uh, that little grounder. He hits that just a tiny bit softer, and that's uh, everybody's in good shape. Chase came up and made a good play to get that out. Well, Jack's got to go to work here. Good block over there. Chelmowski went down looking last time. He got a steady diet of breaking pitches. Let's see if Caden goes back to that. Maybe not. Down 1 0 right away. Good nibble on the outside there. 2 0. First base is open here. Caden would rather strike him out here and get out of the inning. Comes across. Ooh, back pick. Nice throw down there. Oh, I like the idea. Ooh. A little co closer yeah, than is. Coach McCready liked, <laughs> I think. He, he also leaned at first base and just about got a little... Uh, And that one stays down. Bases are juiced here with Saints. And we're just going to touch a base and get out of here, fellas. Ooh, comes inside again. We're not doing too bad on pitch count. That's the 42nd pitch for Caden. Seemed like a few more, but. You can get out of an Oof. inning with 15 and under. You're, you're, you're doing, doing pretty, good. pretty good shape. Yep. First Easton I think I've seen here this year, uh, Holberg swinging. Going to push that one to the right side. Going to bring her around to run. 
No, he is not. I forgot there's two outs here. Well, that'll do nice it. Nice job by Chase Johnston raging to his left. Well, we better not get in a habit of loading <laughs> him up and getting out of it because uh, that ain't going to happen every time. Oh. We, we'll take it. Well, the Gophers uh, get out of a jam once again here in the third inning. We go to the bottom of the third. Gophers leading this one. One to zero. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Gophers leading this one, one nothing. They'd like to get a few more insurance runs here. That one's gonna stay up. I will have to see, Chris, if I can uh, talk my uh, beautiful wife into a coffee run between games. Ah, <laughs> uh, she loves us. She'll do she it. <laughs> she might, I don't know. But I, I, you know, she went out and she took dog to the vet today and she said it's cold. I'm uh, not guaranteeing I'm coming up to the ball field today. Yeah, I'm more of an iced coffee guy <laughs> myself, but you could probably talk me into a warm one right about now. Yeah. Going to stay on the outside. I think we saw Kiefer last year, too. Yeah, we did. Uh, I believe we saw him uh, in the Legion season. One stays up. Caden runs this one full. Imagine he's uh, of the Kiefer clan out of Elba. Mm -hmm. A lot of Kiefer's come from those parts. Not for certain. Nice shot over that there to the Caden. right side. Good swing, fought that one off and pushed it over there. Yeah, nice job staying inside the ball and good place to hit it today given the wind conditions. Right, Jack's got his bat trainer over there on deck. Gonna bring the icon out for that. Nice job holding off by Caden. So I asked you, I said, hey, should we just go shop for bats for fun? <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> oh, and that one's going to get him. Well, we're going to go after the hit by batter, hit by pitch. Well. Record tonight for both teams. <laughs> We've got a few so far. See if old crafty Caden can see himself at third base getting run scoring position and Weston can follow suit on down to second. He needs to know what's going on in front of him because Caden's been known to take a base. Got to be paying attention. Oh, yeah. He loves, uh, loves stealing third base, and he always seems to get a really good jump over there too. I always thought it was a lot easier to steal third than second. You could just get a lot better jump. Jack out in front of that one. Gophers lead this one one nothing, threatening again here in the bottom of the third. Kiefer gets himself a new baseball. Jack sitting at 0-2, just gonna stretch this one out. 
That one's up there. Runners are going to oh, oh, Weston. Weston here uh, didn't get a really good read on it right off the bat, but uh, we've got that first and third situation again. And I'm guessing he's going to go right away. I would hope so. Hopefully we'll get him in the scoring position here. Well, we've got a couple down by the uh, the uh, the backstop over there. Past the left field fence, and that's the right idea to get out of the wind there. Yeah, he swung that one there. He shouldn't have swung that. that yeah, was that one was. She was up there. He knows it. Thumb guard fly off. Wrist, wrist guard. Ah. <coughs> that one's inside. Craig Manhand would say low bridge. 1-0 to Chase Johnson's runner is on first and third. Weston's sticking close. Nice job. Pulled that down the line. Hey, right into that sprinkler head over there. I see we got a few fans utilizing the turtle cage <laughs> over there to block em. the wind. Dual purpose. They um, third through sixth graders tomorrow, correct? Nice that's job, gonna and that's going to cut in. Inside, come on, Weston, get over here. That a boy. Oh, you're gonna bring around the second run. Chase Johnson, nice job, just uh, poke checking that one over to the right field line. Nice. So runners on first and second. Second run comes around for the Gophers and Caden Boyum. Playing a pretty conservative on the base paths today. I'd like to have seen him on third there. Would have been in standing. Schlink comes through the plate, and that's going to be a tough play to first base. Well, that ball's well. going to stay down. We're going to bring another run across. Three nothing Gophers, and he is going to run this one in. Chase Johnson will stay at third. Carter Schlink is at second base. Kind of a self-inflicted wound there on that one, but yes. uh, not at you know the way that Carter hit that one. That was going to be a tough one anyway. But he's going to come up and. Just do your best to get square and get that uh, throw over there. One down. Gophers have played it a couple more here in the bottom of the third inning. Yeah, it doesn't always need to be line drives all over the field. You can score some runs in a lot of different it's ways. Things get interesting. Kale shot with a big cut there. It's 0-1 uh, to Kale. He's going to bunt. A nice That's bunt. a nice one, too. And he'll bring a run around. That's going to make it 4-0. Well, Kale, if you're uh Great bunt. Yep, wonderful bunt down that right field or that right uh, line. That'll bring a rainmaker to the plate. Carter Schlink at third base. Nice to get that, get Carter in here and make it 5 nothing. Yeah, you couldn't have laid one down any better than that. Just kind of stayed nice and still over there in that dirt on the uh, right side. Keppel with a pretty good hop out of there to get to the inside to get that out at first. Yeah, Kale made it close. Gets down the line pretty well. Ooh, that one broke down in there a little further than I thought. Not too bad. Raymaker put his hands up, and I thought it was further inside. I think it was over the plate. Must have been a little high. 3-0 to Raymaker. Good take there. Boy, throw that one again. He's going to pull that one hard. Although we've been wrong up here before, yeah. trying to call balls <laughs> and strikes. We have. One other time. Yeah. Just once. Just once, yeah. That one will stay outside. Runners on first and third again. Bolts comes to the plate. Good nice. block by Keppel. Nice job reading the baseball, Raymaker. 
Cole got a perfect jump on that. Saw I was going to hit the ground, and he was going. So runners at second and third here. It's uh, like to see Boltsy here hit the ball hard, get himself a couple RBIs. He's going to stay out. Old uh, announcer Lance over there is, uh, oh, that one stays in. Take a little something off it. Nice little, uh, just dropped in there on that inner half. Yeah, he doesn't look very warm either. No. Two to Voltsy, see what he can do here. Well, let's make sure you get your foot down here. Just uh, make contact and get her over there. No one stays out. Braden Horseman on deck. Gophers up in this one, four to zero. on the inside half for the strikeout. Well, damage is done here. Gophers get another couple of runs, or actually three runs, and they go up in this one four to zero over the St. Charles Saints. St. Charles up in the top of the fourth inning right after this. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Hey, oh, yeah. Gophers lead this one four to zero after a few runs here in the uh, bottom of the third. Kid Boyum goes up uh, 0 one first batter here. We got third baseman Tommy Kozak here for the Saints. And Quickly there's down 0 2. the sound effects from Lance are back. You don't get that at other ballparks, I'm telling you. It's oh, oh, good talk back there. It just uh, tailed off. And Chase is backing off on it, and uh, Kale called him off, did everything right, and then just kind of tailed off his glove. So windy out there. Runner. Yeah, that's a that's a tough cut over there in right field blown yeah. across too. Day like today, nothing's routine. New. No. Run around first base. Turn two. Hit there. Shortstop flip over to second. Oh. Just safe at first base. Look at Chase uh just clutched, double clutched getting it out of his glove, or else they had him at first, I think. Yeah, that was kind of one of those where I'm sure Carter was thinking if he should keep it or flip it. It was kind of in between what he should do there. Yeah. And I don't know if he would have had him if he would have kept it or not, but either way, got down the line all right and safe at first. Well, 1-0 here. 
Runner on first base, one down, top of four. Gophers lead this one. There's that bender. Yeah, maybe Caden was just trying too hard to get uh, technical with it on the inside, and he went uh, kind of the outer half, and he was in good shape with that one. Comes back to the inside and uh, gasses it up. Yeah, if you can throw those back-to-back -back for a strike, that's going to be a tough day. Yep. Puts that one in the dirt, evens the count at two apiece. Good block by Jack there. That'll nice wait. job painting that inside. Good pitch there from Caden. Well, Caden here. Little hiccup in the first and the third, but he's uh, second and fourth here. Has uh, been a couple of nice innings for him so far. Two down here in the fourth inning. Saints bring up top of the order with Gavin Manley. Manley, hard shot down the line. Raymaker can't get that one. Got his glove on it. Jumped all over that inside fastball and pulled it down the line. Cole, I think, was looking to get that crossover and didn't get that, didn't quite get that last step over there to backhand that ball. Yeah, he might have been trying to plant that right foot before he gathered it in. Breaker. Got a runner nice on job. second base there. We probably don't need to be holding that guy on first, but. Delger at the plate for the Saints. 0-1 to him. Caden comes with that breaker again. Boy, if you're going to go, he might as well see how far out you can get that, I guess. That was a really good spot for that pitch. Just uh, It moved a ton few inches off the plate and uh, had Delger kind of diving at it. Good pitch. I'd like to see him come inside on that inside half again and just kind of saw it off. Well, we'll see what he brings. Comes inside, that one's gonna flare over to the right side. Kale's gonna field this cleanly. Jack's gonna get him at, no, he's gonna be safe at third base. Saints bring across their first run of the ball game. Yeah, if we're gonna cut that, we gotta go to two. If we're gonna go home, we gotta let that yep. go through as a communication breakdown there. So Delger, pretty good job of uh, fighting that one off. It did come on the inside, and he uh, took a nice cut and pushed it uh, the other way. First run of the ball game for the Saints. Still 4-1 in favor of the Gophers. Wow. That one started way inside. Keen just about squirreled that across the inside of the plate. And he, and he almost pitch. hit him. <laughs> <laughs> he moved a lot. A lot of vertical drop on that one. And he stays inside. Good cut. Way to work ahead. One and two. See if we can strand them one more time. Well, the uh, status quo here for most St. Charles Saints ball clubs has been, boy, they, they're swinging the bat hard no matter what. Nice job with that curveball. Good pitch. And we typically start them off uh, 
a little pitch these guys a little bit different because they love to tee off on that first pitch, that's for sure. Well, St. Charles Saints get one here in the top of the fourth inning. Gophers lead this one four to one, and we'll be right back with the bottom of the fourth. Wow, well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Braden Horseman's going to lead things off for the Gophers. Gophers lead this one four to one. Eyes are good. Yeah, the right fielder is creeping in even a little bit more with this weather. If Braden get a hold of one here, maybe he can get himself a triple. A lot of room there in right center. Boy, that's... Uh, I'm going to stay up. 3 0. Yeah, you look around the infield on both teams, and the guys are spending more try time trying to stay warm than getting in that ready position. Yep. I can't say I blame them, but it, uh, it's a day. Well, Kiefer comes with a strike. 3 and 1 here to Braden Horseman. Well, Braden, you're thinking of one pitch. Ooh, that's going to stay inside, just inside. Not, not a bad pitch from Kiefer, honestly. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It might have been high again. I think that's the one yeah. we have a hard time seeing yep. up here. Is the high one? Looked like it was over the plate, but a little off center. But anyway, we'll take it. We're on we're, first base. We need uh, need runners. Caden Boyum to the plate. Horseman over at first base. Ooh, Caden out in front of uh, Kiefer, nice job taking uh, quite a bit off that pitch. Ooh, horseman back. Nice scoop by the first baseman over there. Saved himself a base, probably two today. Looks like we have Mr. Eikhoff over there. Coaching first. I believe it is anyway. He's bundled up. He's <laughs> hard to tell, but I think you're right. Talked to him a few weeks ago. He said he's uh, itching to get out, but uh, he's got to wait a couple more months. Oh, yeah. well. Going to push the run over. No good stretch over there at first base. Going to get Caden. He's going to get the runner over to second base. Fortunately for Caden, that, yep. that cost, him a, cost him a hit because we went to cover and hit a right to him. Weston Nolte up here with a one down in the bottom of the fourth inning. Gophers lead this one four to one. Weston here can get a nice base knock, drive in Braden. Well, it's been nice to have Weston get that experience here the last couple of years. He went uh, went with us to Legion uh, State a couple of years back, and then uh, was obviously on the playoff roster last year and uh, got in uh, at least one game, I believe, and got himself a hit in one. 
Yeah, he found himself a lot yep. of PT there for Legion last year. Nice ball down there at the third base. Bringing the runner. Braden Horseman going to stand up for the fifth run of the ball game. Nice job, yeah, Weston. Nice job being aggressive. On a day like today in particular, in general, in high school baseball, you always want to take that extra base because, you know, Roberto Clemente is not out there in right field. Correct. So. Well, I have uh, one of my most enjoyable outfielders to watch throw people out from left and right field is Bo Jackson. Um, yeah, he had some highlights, today. Ball hit hard. Oh, that's Kuttner. That's going to drop for a base hit. Weston's going to get into second base. Just get in there. Jack would not Ooh. have been happy with that fielder's choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hit that. That. I think he hit that fairly he, well. It just got knocked right down. It knocked down and tailed off, and off to the right. Aiden Johns, are going to run? Well, one down here, Gophers up five to one. Runners on first and second. Weston's knocked there. We scored that a single, didn't we? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He got an RBI? Yep. Yeah, nice job, Weston. Yeah, I uh, I had thought you were going to make that play at uh, third. He kind of took that little squirrel hop to the right, and uh, he wasn't able to make it. The, nice younger, the younger Keppel, he was a little disappointed with himself there, but I'm pretty impressed with him. He moves pretty well back there. Yeah, that was that was a tough one to handle. That took a really odd hop off the right side of the plate uh, just past the batter's box. And I don't know exactly where it hit him, got him in the hand or not. Not the day as a catcher to be getting hit in the hands. No. Good hold. 3-0. Kiefer down in this count to Chase Johnston. Runners at second and third. Boy, Chase looking to drive in a couple more here. That's going to come inside hard. Walks him. Bases are loaded. Carter Schlink steps to the plate. Got the corners in here. Going to look to knock a run down if it's hit to the corner infielders. And one will stay out. Looking for the double play up the middle. Kind of traditional one out bases loaded defense. These are the ones that uh, kind of odd to judge in, in center field and right, obviously by the tail of the ball. However, every once in a while you get that one that you hit a hard line drive and it just stays on that line and gets that little gust underneath it. And you take that one step in and you're like, oh, it's going to continue to go. So um, just kind of a weird night here for the outfielders. Yeah, on a day like today, I, I would always I would always err on the side of coming in as hard as I can right out of the gate because yep. there aren't going to be too many where you're going to get guessing wrong on that because they're just not going to carry today. We haven't had a ball probably hit 100 feet yet. No. <laughs> it's been nope. pretty brutal. It's, uh, you know, Jack hit that one hard, and that just got, like you said, got knocked down straight down into the right. Luke Decker's going to come in to throw for the uh, Saints. Chase Kiefer will shut her down with 77 pitches on the day. He uh, gave up four hits, uh, five runs, only two of which were earned, at four strikeouts and four walks. All in all, I'm going to forgive anybody pitching today for a few extra walks because it's, it's tough conditions and, you know, both sides have had a few errors. So coming in a day like this and only get up yep. two, two earned runs, that's not too bad. Yeah, you're uh, – well, Decker with kind of a kind of a cool delivery. He kind of gets that extended out there. That's going to be something they're just going to have to pick up on. Yeah, Decker, another – Long time St. Charles name. Well, 
uh, Coach McCready saw something there or, or what the reason was yep. to change mid bat or mid count, but uh, Decker will take on a 2 0 count that uh, Kiefer left for him. One down here, and Gophers' base is loaded here. Nice job starting ahead. Decker kind of comes and uh, takes a little something off that one on the inside. Strike one. Two and one. Going to come inside. Carter wasn't moving. He just about got... Uh, I think he thought he was going to get hit there. <laughs> Flinched up and... going to drop. He's going to get that one over to the right field side. Going to catch it. Throw coming. Going to get, no. Oh, wrong side of slide. Oh, slid to the inside. Should have slid to the outside. Well, a good relay there from St. Charles. Going to get the uh, runner at the plate. However, Gophers get another one. And they will go up 5-1 to one over the St. Charles Saints. Pretty good strong throw by the yep. right fielder there. You know, you got to Got to give them props where props are due. Yeah, good job here just hitting the chest of that cutoff, man, and then that uh, that turn from first base, and they got him at the plate. Well, 5-1 in favor of the Gophers. Cade's going to go back out to the mound. We will be right back with the top of the fifth inning. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. Andy O'Connor along with Chris Dornack here on the Frozen Tundra. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Gophers lead this one 5-1. to one. Whoa! Breaker in there on Keppel. Oh, no. Excuse me, 0-1. Oh, Keppel, nice job keeping his hands back and hitting that one hard. Was that a fastball or a curveball, Andy? Uh, he came in with a breaking ball. Okay. Uh, Keppel, good job just sitting on it. And even that little line drive there got knocked down a bit. Run around first base. Nice job. Has a great spot on the inside. Good job moving that around. Up 0 and 2. Hey, for the most part here, he's been working efficiently, other than that uh, couple little blurbs here, but. Uh, Old adage applies, work ahead. Keppel's pretty fleet of foot, if I'm remembering correctly. Mm -hmm. I'd be surprised to see him get going here. Looks 
think he's staying pretty close to the bag, quite honestly. I mean, I know um, Coach McCurdy is probably being a little careful with him. We do need to bring some runs across and manufacture. Good job hanging there. Kamowski evens the count here, two and two. Yeah, maybe he's lulling us to sleep over there. He's just gonna just gonna take off. There's the extra step. Nice job. Takes a lot off that and just drops off the table. Strikeout for out number one here in the top of the fifth. Fifth strikeout on the day for Caden. First one swinging. Chris Oberg at the plate for the Saints. Nice job. That was coming across anyway, Jack. Nice job kind of turning it in there and uh, the no doubter getting that call. Good job. Comes hard on the outside, up on two. A little bit extra on that one. Yeah, a little, a little mustard, I like it. I was gonna bring out the gun today, Andy, but I didn't figure we'd see much for eating <laughs> given the temperature, so I spared it. Good block. No way to move lateral there, Jack. Way outside. Nice pitch. Good job. Yeah, Caden settling in here now. Well, two down here in the top of the fifth inning. Gophers lead it five to one. Runner on first base. Keppel with the base hit to start things off. And uh, if we can strand him over there, that'd be just fine this inning. Hey, right back into the old booth. Almost tested the plexiglass there. Well, that's government-issued plexiglass. We're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. The next thing is it'll fall right out, but, uh, you know, it'll be all right. Nice job swinging the bat here. Tommy Kozak here. That first cut was, he was right on that, and he uh, pulls that one down the line. Now, Kozak is most likely going to see a heavy, heavy diet of breaking balls from uh, Caden here. Going to take a lot off this one, I'm just guessing. Pops him up. Right, good Third Eddie. out. Good job there by Mr. Raymaker getting under that one. Well, after a uh, hit to start things off from Keppel, Caden Boyum shuts him down, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Gophers leading five to one. We'll be right back.
Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. Andy O'Connor along with Chris Dornack here at Molly Bomb Field. Gophers lead this one going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Five to one will bring Kale's shot to the plate. I tell you, Kale's going to have to get on one to get one out of here today. Yeah, I'll buy dinner, Andy, He's tonight if he can get one because I don't think anybody is in this weather. She would have to be a missile to get out of the ballpark today. Kale with pretty good cut there. Fault straight back. 0 oh 2. And Kale swing out in front of that one. One down here, bottom of five. Decker on the mound for St. Charles came in last inning. Raymaker to the plate. That one will stay up. Raymaker hits it hard to left center field, ranging over to make that catch. Second out of the inning. Yeah, he put a charge in that. Yeah. Aiden Johns are going to hit. Well, Decker to deal here with two down in the bottom of the fifth. That one's going to be out. One and oh. That one will stay up. Two and oh to Aiden Johns Rude. Braden Horseman on deck. Braden got himself a nice bird. I think that was this morning, correct? Uh, opening or opening yes, morning, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, yeah. yeah. Braden got a nice buck this year, too. Yeah. He's had a good year. These are important things in a town they like Jeffy. It is. Well, two strikes here to Aiden John's route. I enjoy turkey hunting, but it turns into more nap time in the blind. You know, when you get that nice, warm <laughs> April sun on you. Not today, but uh, yeah, well, yeah. I've kind of went down swinging there for Aiden. I've kind of transitioned into heading out about three o'clock and the nice warm weather versus the getting up at four thirty and yeah, going out in the you know the frost. Well, we go to the top of the sixth inning. Gophers still leading this one five to one. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Burlingham comes to the plate for the Saints. 1-0 to him. Caden trying to work outside. Burlingham hit a couple balls hard here so far to uh, shortstop.
Three and zero to Burlingham. There we go. Somewhere oh Molly Baum is saying is yep. You got a. Do you got a favorite yeah. Molly Baum quote? <laughs> there's there's a lot. Okay, of well, I do, so I'll share mine. <laughs> if you can think of one, you can later, but mine yep. was he'd always ask the boys, what's your best pitch? And, you know, oh, you know, knuckle, curve, change, you know, whatever <laughs> they'd come up with. And Molly go, no, no. Well, what is it then? Your best pitch is a strike. It's a strike, exactly. <laughs> yep, so <laughs> I always use that one. Oh, best pitch is what? It's a strike. And he's yep. not he's not wrong. Yeah, his uh his adage was uh up 3 and 0 and you throw a strike. If you can throw a strike on 3 and 0, you can obviously throw a strike on 0 and 0. Start yep. ahead. Good good to work so ahead. So the statistics show <laughs> show as much. Well, Caden came back from uh, three and zero to uh, get Burlingham with a strikeout here, so one down. Matheson at the plate. If I'm not mistaken, did JB go over there or is he in? I can't recall. I if believe he's in, uh, I believe they are. Can't remember if he went to Dovriota after teaching here or he went to uh, St. Charles. I'm trying to remember. Oh, JB. I thought yeah. you said JV. Yeah, J JB is over. Uh, he's in Iota. I think he yep. might be teaching. I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I think it's elementary. He does some coaching over there too. And I could be wrong on what he's teaching. I shouldn't even say. But. I think he is elementary still. I want to add. Raymaker with a nice play over there to first base and uh, Weston Nolte, great scoop to get the second out. Well, JB is the same old JB, a good guy. Yes. Good ball player. Yeah, he was. Played against him a lot back in the day when the dinosaurs roamed. <laughs> Well, we're going to keep this broadcast going here. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're also on CCTV Channel 11. Hard hit ball over to Raymaker. Stabs that one to his left. Throw good over inning. to Weston Nolte. It's a good inning, Cole. Bingo. One, two, three. Snapper mow him down inning. That's what we like to see out of you. Caden, nice job here. And Cole with a couple of nice plays over at third base to help him get out of trouble. Well, we go to the bottom of the sixth. Gophers up five to one. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning with the Gophers leading 5-1. to one. Braden Horseman will come to the plate. Yeah, Braden's 0-1 on the day with a walk and a run scored. Decker goes up. Strike one, Braden. Good cut, Braden. Straight back there. 
Yeah, Braden's put on a lot of muscle since last year. He must have been in the gym pretty hard. Mm -hmm. I bet he's 20 pounds heavier in the good way. Yes. Decker leaves that one out. Good waist pitch for him there. One and two. Nice job hanging there, Braden. Balls that one off. Caden staying busy down there on deck. Well, I had to look twice. I thought maybe it was Flynn on the bucket. Well, it's Jack, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, brother like brother, I guess. Yeah. So they are down at Mill Creek this evening, correct? They are. Well, one down here in the bottom of the six. Caden Boyum to the plate. Cuts that one off. Strike one. Decker not doing anything uh, overly exotic. He's been throwing strikes. No, it's a, a little bit nice change. That one's going to stay up. Well, we informed Kennedy that we went out to uh, dinner with Flynn on Friday night. She's uh, now got a bone to pick with Flynn because... Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> she said he was going to go out to dinner with her, so he's uh, he's in for a free meal if if he uh, takes her up on that. Well, don't think he won't. No, he'll, he'll eat it. Can get under that one a little bit. Going to range to the left and make that out. Two down here in the bottom of the sixth. Yeah, no, most days I think that would have been out in the outfield, mm -hmm. maybe for a blue pit, but that one blew yeah. right back. Came straight down, that's for sure. Weston Nolte to the plate. Jack on deck is hoping to get another shot here. Oh boy. Uh, Weston, play over to first base, good snap. Applies the take just for good measure and that's gonna be three up, three down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gophers are gonna go to the top of the seventh to bring up St. Charles Saints to the plate and hope to close this thing out. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Last shot here for the St. Charles Saints. If they can get uh, four on the board, tie this thing up. Delger steps to the plate. Well, I think Caden's looking to finish this one out. I don't think anybody's been up in the bullpen. 
Well, I've seen Raymaker throwing a little bit and Weston throwing a couple of pitches, but uh, Caden's getting up there. He's sitting at 90 pitches. Well, let's get a couple of ground ball outs here, and that one stays down. Raymaker, good job. Ooh, boy, that one really skipped on him. Jack hustling down. They're going to no hesitation from Delger. He was going no matter what. I think he just took off. Yeah, it's the best way sometimes. I mean, really, if it gets back past the first baseman, unless the catcher actually yep. gets there on time, and that would have been a tall task there. You know, you're going to have a hard time not getting to. Well, I'm sure I could find a way not to get to with my speed, but... Uh... Well, runner at second base. Good cut there on the inside, Decker. Straight back. 0-1 here. Huge lead over at second base, but Caden not worrying about him, thankfully. It's yeah, no reason no, to. No Means problem nothing. there. Another look, and he comes with that breaker on the inside. 0-2. He got him with that curveball looking the last time up. Oh, nice location. Down in the zone, but a really good spot for that pitch. I like that. That's a good spot. Crossed him up just a little there. One and two. And that one is going to hang on the corner. So a strikeout for the first out here in the top of the seventh inning. Keppel comes to the plate. Ground ball is short. Carter Schlink fields it cleanly over to Weston Nolte at first base, and that he way. will be out by a step. Got down the line really nicely. Yeah, he did. He made that close. Five to one here in favor of the Gophers with two down in the top of the seventh. Chomowski comes to the plate runner on third base. Going to stay out. Caden just needs to throw strikes here, and we're going to have her defense working behind you. It's going to catch the outside. One and one. Should and do it. Ground ball to second base. Up Good with it job. and over to first is Chase Johnston. Good well, game, fellas. Gophers are going to take this one five to one over the St. Charles Saints in this first half of this double header. We will take a break here and we're going to keep this stream going. We'll take a break and uh, be back in just a bit for game number two.
Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. Andy O'Connor along with Chris Dornack. We go to the second game of this doubleheader. Gophers took the uh, first one, 5-1 to one in seven innings. Kozak on the mound here for St. Charles. A little more gas. Yeah, a little bit of a funky delivery. The ball gets on you pretty quick. Counts even at one apiece here to Caden Boyum. Gophers will be the visiting team. Obviously, this... Uh, this one here. Oh, kind of an odd hop, but nice job taking it. Caden is going to stay there. Well, good job backing that one up. Right fielder and uh, Keppel, the catcher, was there. Well, that was a base hit. He wasn't going to get him anyway. No. So Weston Nolte steps to the plate. Just a really odd hop there at the end, and pretty good job of fielding that uh, at short. Let's put some pressure on him right away. Let's get a runner in scoring position here. Oh, Caden, he's going to be safe. Boy, that was uh, a <laughs> yeah, that was a little closer than I, I thought it was going to be. A little nonchalant there, Caden. <laughs> I think he could have maybe got dirty. Well, your mom's already got to wash those things. You might as well get them dirty. One comes on the inner half. Weston falls that one off. One stays out. Evens the count at one apiece. Yeah, we'll look for him to bounce around over there a little bit at first base, see if he can time a jump. There's One staying in. There's a base for us. We'll take that. Keppel might have been expecting a little different pitch there and uh, kind of got in on him. Keaton advances to second base, two and one here to Weston Nolte. Hit her hard up the gut, Weston. Ooh, that one's good. Gonna be inside, goes in for a strike. Yeah, it's not the one he wants to hit there anyway. Look for something a little bit more over the plate and he can drive here, Weston. That one's a slow roller to third base. Caden's gonna advance, however, Weston's gonna be safe at first, so runners on first and third. We'll take that. Weston, good job hustling down the line. Decker came up with it pretty cleanly, but uh, just uh, didn't seem to get it out of his glove very quickly on that play. And But it was a pretty slow rolling ball down there. Well, heads up base running by Caden. Knew he had nobody behind him, so he got off uh, second base quite a ways. He was halfway there before he uh, made that throw. That one's going to be out. Two and one, Jack Dornack at the plate. That one will stay out, three and one. Good patient at bat. Look for something here, middle in that you can drive. Well, today, maybe middle out. You can shoot <laughs> it the <laughs> other way. Hitter's delight here. Yeah. Put it in the air. Get a run in at minimum here. That yeah, one will stay out. Ball four, wasn't it? Actually, well, three and one. Had the scoreboard, a little progressive scoreboard keeping over there. Weston will be running anyway, but it will be ball four. Base is loaded. We've got a runner here for the catcher. Well, I've yet to see the old... Uh, We need to get somebody on the, with a double here so we can see the Jeremy from second base. Got to do it. One's going to stay on the inner half. Good take, though. That's a good block. Down one and one. Yeah, Kozak working quick when he gets in uh, 
into that motion. Oh, we appreciate that today. Johnston, good cut. One and two. Base is loaded. Oh, takes a lot off of that one. He's going to get his first out of the inning. Good pitch going down there. Well, one out here. Carter needs to put something in play. That's going to, well, maybe not have the distance. Caden's going to try to draw that throw, but uh, good job running the ball in. So just like that, two down, and Kozak is trying his hardest here to limit this damage. Kiel's going to shoot one to the right side, and that's going to take a really squirrely hop. Uh, but Kozak will cover and get the third out. So Gophers load the bases. St. Charles Saints gets out of trouble. In the top of the first inning, they will bring Gavin Manley, Kate Delger, and Brock Decker to the plate. In the bottom of the first inning, we'll be right back. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the first inning here. St. Charles and Gophers not at zero here. Gophers loaded the bases in the top of the first inning. Nice hard hit ball down the line. Manley loved that inside ball there. Yeah, we need to, everybody needs to shift over that way. That's five straight balls he's hit over there. Guard that line a little bit. He's going to hit to the left again. Braden Horseman in a couple of steps, or a few steps, rather. First out here, two pitches, and we got ourselves an out. Perfect. Andy, our cords. Well, we've had plenty of audio uh, issues here tonight. We'll. Uh... Am I alive still? There we go. Yep. Okay. So Delger at the plate, one down here, bottom of one. Delger, good hard hit ball between uh, short and third. First base runner for them. Yeah, one of the few uh, solid smacks tonight. For yeah, either team, really. Yeah. 
Brock Decker to the plate. He's going to push on over to the right side. Weston's going to go look at it. It will be out of play. 0 and 1. Two strikes here. That one's going to stay up. One and two. Go get it. That one's going to hang up for quite a while. Caden's going to Range back, Braden Horseman right behind him just to be sure. Two down here and a couple of flies over to the left side. Keppel steps to the plate. Number 13, just like the rest of them. Keppel's hit the ball yep. hard a few times today. Down and out here for that first offering from Carter Schlink. Carter taking on, obviously, a uh, there we go. Ball is short. Caden's going to go to first with that one. 6 3 put out to end the threat here. Well, after a base hit, Gophers get uh, that third out there with a 6 3 from Caden to Weston Nolte. No runs with one hit here in the bottom of the first. We go to the top of the second. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the top of the second inning here. Gophers are going to lead this thing off with Mr. Cole Raymaker. 0-0 zero, zero so far in this one. Down and out. Yeah, that ball Cole hit last game probably would have had himself a double in a, another day, but if he can hit one hard again like that here. He's had quite a few balls this year that he's he's hit on the tee. Gonna bring a strike. Two and one, ball up the middle. Off the second baseman's glove and it's gonna be the first runner of this inning here. Going to bring up Ryan Rendles. Well, being an old uh, Preston guy here, I started uh, finally calling Ryan Ryan this year in basketball. Ooh, Raymaker is back safely.
calling him by his dad's name half the season. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's either that or a brother or something is usually what I go with. I yep. never get to quite get the name right. Ryan's I can remember for some reason, though, so I'm one up on you on that. Yeah, I'm. Whoa, and that one's going to come inside hard. It'll hit him. I'm not sure he ever brought his bat back. No. We'll take it. <laughs> exactly. Well, both kids of uh, Preston lineage are on the base paths. Braden Horseman steps to the plate. Good start for our Gophers. A couple runners on. Yeah, let's see if Braden can't uh, tag one. He's going to square to bunt, pull that one back. Raymaker, really big lead over there. Good job of the shortstop and St. Charles getting over the bag. Decker's coming well, in hard, obviously. He can just take third base. The second baseman is, uh, he's coming now, but he wasn't anywhere close. Good Braden bunt. Horseman, good bunt over to the right side. Kozak will go to first with it. He will advance the runners, though. Very nice bunt. I like it. That's a good bunt, Braden. A couple good bunts today by the Gophers. Well, that'll bring up Caden Boyle. A little inside, like a Caden. Hack there on that inside pitch. Yeah, today a day like today is a definitely a small ball kind of day. You got to make the runs when you can. Ooh, that one's going to stay out. Nice pitch by Kozak there, kind of nibble on that outside. Okay, can just hit the ball right side here. Want to stay out. Two and one. Gonna hit uh, one out the middle, we'll and she had eyes. Bring him. Ryan Rindle's gonna come in and try to score here. Nice job, way to be aggressive. Heads up, base running there from Caden Boyan brings in two runs. One down here in the top of the first, the Gophers are gonna plate the first runs of the ball game. We've missed a few opportunities to take that base on the throw this year, and it's yep. nice to see Caden get that. And that's what the young kids at home need to see. Yep. Get yeah. that base when you can get it, it's free. Caden never stopped running. No, not at all. Not quite the relay they had last game when they got Weston at the plate. Um, that cut man had to move off quite a bit. Uh, actually, they got really deep and close to the plate. One and one here to Weston Nolte, trying to bring in Caden from second base. Two runs already across for the Gophers. He's going to bring him to third base. Ooh, good job oh. making that play. Boy, Weston's going to be out at first. Real close play. Caden will be advanced to third base, however. Yeah, another nice base running play by Caden. That'll bring up Jack Dornack. Big spot for Jack to drive in this run. Little green here, Jack. We threw a lot of we threw a lot of oppo pitches in the cage last night. Let's see if he can do that. He was That's thinking something bigger. Yep, <laughs> yeah, he liked that inside. Well, that was the one you outside. wanted, Jack. That was the one you wanted to hit right there. That's a good groove pitch right up the middle. Jeez, he got taken on the high one. Gonna stay up. Gophers, however, do some damage here in the top of the second inning, plating two runs on the single by Caden Boyum. We will be back with the bottom of the second inning after this.
Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the second inning. St. Charles is going to bring up Luke Decker. Pitched at the end of the last game, or actually after the fourth inning. Yeah, Carter Schling comes in there, pulls one past the uh, first base coach. Yeah, he did a nice job that last game, too. He went two and change and didn't give up a hit. Carter Schlink with the offering stays on the outside. One and one. Ooh, Jack brings that one back. It's going to be strike two. One and two to Luke Decker. Decker hangs in, pushes that one off. I don't know if your wife told you here, Chris, but the uh, greenhouse sales in the St. Charles area start tomorrow. Ooh. I know that's a big get for you, but yeah. uh, you might have to. Well, we've got a, a nice little Amish nursery just about two blocks from uh, our place there down by Troy. Well, maybe the uh, cooler weather will keep people away, but boy, that first weekend uh, is usually pretty darn busy. Oh, it looked like he waved at it. Good throw on the inside on to rest Weston Nolte. And that will be first out of this uh, second inning. Oberg comes to the plate. Props to the old PA announcer here on Lance Boyum over there. He's, uh, we have a little wind blockage. He has zip. We don't have much. But he's he's pretty tough, though. Oh, he's, uh, got, uh, he's got Seth Allen over there blocking, <laughs> or is that John Drew? No, that's old Seth. Uh, that's Seth. It's Sarge. He broke out the old winter wear. Yeah, a little Carhartt power. One and one to Oberg. That one, uh, pretty good pitch on the inside. Oberg going to swing at that one. He's got to get out in front of the plate and yank that one. Jack, good job hopping out there for that. I thought for sure Carter would break out the breaker, but he went with the, I think that was a fastball. One's going to stay inside on Oberg. Runs the count full. Payoff pitch up coming here from Carter Schlink. Let's bring her down Broadway, Carter. See what happens. Going to kind of get him on the inside. Raymaker, good throw over to Weston that Nolte. 5-3 put off for the second out of the bottom of the second. He got him in pretty hard on the hands on that one. You could tell it kind of hit toward, down toward the connection. Yeah, Carter worked him inside two or three times in a row there and worked out. That one's going to stay just out. Good spot. It's in the pickleball court. Evens account at one apiece. Speaking of pickleball, they have a really strong following here. Sunday evenings, uh, pickleball inside when the weather's poor, and then uh, they'll go outside, obviously, when it gets nice out. Big following with the game. Yeah, we've, uh, we've noticed that as well. Yeah. You'll see eight-year-olds playing 80-year-olds out there. It's kind of a good community. Activity. Carter takes something off that one. Two and two. Are you actually going to run this one full to Kozak? Kozak is pitching today for the Saints. 
He's going to come down the middle and take that one on a strikeout. So Saints go down in order here in the bottom of the second inning. Carter Schlink works out of a couple of full counts to get a couple of strikeouts. We're actually going to go to the top of the third inning. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the top of the third inning. Chase Johnson will lead things off here. He goes up 1-0 in this count. Hits one hard at the second baseman. We'll hop up to nicely over to first. 4-3 put out. Yeah, the lip couldn't have fed it to him any better on that one. That was oh, that was, that was a great hop. Candy hop. One down here, top of three. Gophers lead this one two to oh, two to nothing. That one will stay down. Carter Schlink at the plate. One and zero oh to him. Their hard hit ball short. Throw is going to be low. Dug out nicely, however, by Burlingham over there at first base today, or in this game rather. Actually, Chomalski over there. Oh no, it's not. Burlingham came in, didn't he? Yeah, they just uh, they just announced that, but it was hard to hear what he said in the wind. Kale's gonna hold off on that. Good job. I think Kale just needs to hit a couple balls hard here. Yeah, get it He'll going. He'll be in good shape. I think Keppel's taking a couple off of. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it looked like he might have caught that one off the thumb. That wouldn't feel very good. Yeah, yeah. It's um, there's days to be a catcher that they're. It's just it's a little tougher, and this is one of them. But uh, one and two here to kill shot. Two down, top of three. That one's gonna stay up. You're going to swing at that. Keppel with the block and go to the inside. And we'll record the third out. Gophers no hits in the top of the third inning. We'll go to the bottom of the third with St. Charles up. We'll be right back.
Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Gophers lead this one 2-0 to zero over the Saints. Second game of this doubleheader. Burlingham is over at second, or actually first base now. Oh, Carter Schlink with a hat malfunction. Win takes it just a bit. 1-0. and oh. Burlingham going to foul that one off. You know, speaking of St. Charles, you know, Jimmy's Pizza doesn't sound horrible tonight either. Literally anything right now, Andy, <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. And cut one off to the side there. Nice job talking there. Mr. Uh, Carter Schlink was there, but Cole Raymaker calls him off, makes that play over there. Wind is tied down there, died down just a tad. We will take it. One down here in the bottom of the third inning. Gophers lead this one two to zero. That one stays inside. Two and oh. That one will stay down. Three and oh. Oh, good shuffle by the ump there back to get that ball. Three and oh. Carter Schlink. He deals the inside and walks him. Four pitch walk. Carter mechanically just got a little uh, out of sorts, I think, in that at bat. He's just got to bring back and uh, come back with a strike here. One down, bottom of three. There's that pop we want. Weston's going to run with it. Can't come up with it, but. Strike one on the batter. So Carter working ahead. Weston resets over there at first base. That one will stay out. Good nibble on the outside by Carter. Just trying to talk him into that one. That one behind Manley just about got his bat. Hard hit ball short. This might be a turn here. Yeah, just too many, too many bobbles on that one. We got one though. We got the first out there. Manley makes a move towards second and uh, gets back to the base though. Hit that one hard. Yeah, and Chase again. He's just trying to find that one. I'm sure his hand is cold and he tries to get that win out of his glove. Well, I don't know if Chase has ever played much second base, so you know you got to learn the position. And he rushed a little bit there, and the ball was hit so hard. I don't think he really needed to. Yeah, I think just kind of let yourself flow with it, and yeah. uh, you probably got it. Lessons learned, though. He'll get better the more he's out there. High fly ball to left field, and Braden Orson's going to range to his left. Benny the Bull is going to race him in, and then going to go third out of the bottom of the third inning. No runs here for St. Charles in that one. 2-0 Gophers will be back with the top of the fourth.
Well, welcome back. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Cole Remaker will lead things off for the Gophers. Good breaking ball there from Kozak. 0-1. Yeah, that's it gonna, yeah, gonna one's hang gonna, up. Yeah, we had the center fielder playing about uh, 40 feet off the uh, infield. Yeah, we keep getting closer and closer yep. here all the time for good reason. Ryan Rindle steps to the plate. Was hit by a pitch last at bat. That one will stay down. Pretty good pitch from Kozak. I like the location. Horseman on deck. That one will catch you outside. That one up the middle, Ooh, nice takes play. a high hop, kind of brings it up into himself. Good job getting the ball out and 6-3 put out. Yeah, Delger's got pretty yeah. good hands out there, doesn't he? That one got up into him pretty hard, though, too, and uh, he did a really nice job of fielding it. Well, two down here in the top of the fourth inning. Gophers still lead this one 2 nothing. Braden, or Braden Horseman steps to the plate. That one will, no, well that's down. It's just in front of the plate. Good swing. Good hard hit ball, wow. Laid that one, come on, round hard. Good job, Kiefer, uh, pretty good job of keeping that one in front of him. It's, had uh, hits off the heel of his glove. Uh, horse is probably at second base. That was a really nice swing. Yeah, good yeah, cut. He's, uh, he's had some nice swings this year. Caden Boyum sets to the plate. Braden Horseman on first. Oh, he's going to get caught here. Uh, I don't know about that. And did they call him out of the baseline? Yeah, you establish mm. your own line on each throw, so I don't know about that, but else and out. Yeah, you got caught leaning there and got into that rundown. Uh, kind of a questionable uh, if you're going to call him out on that in the baseline. However, they did. So after that hit from Horseman, uh, Gophers leave the top of the fourth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. We'll be back after this. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Gophers leading this one two to zero over the St. Charles Saints. Brock Decker steps to the plate for the Saints. Ball on the outside. And that'll be a foul ball. That'll be strike two. Or actually strike one, rather. One and one. Oof. Like you got solid hand on that. Yeah. You must have thought it was knob. And that cannot feel great. No. <laughs> no, no, no. In this weather. Well, it looks like the St. Charles bus is going to sit behind the... Uh, Beyond the right center field wall, and uh, it's going to be very safe, I believe. 
<laughs> I think so. Caden's going to come up hard on that one. Good throw over there. Nice play. Caden Boyum's going to go a 6-3 put out. Slow roller. Decker got down the line nicely. Caden comes back with a strong throw. I'm just going to save this one just in case. I got it there. Stays down for Caden. Nice shot over to him. 6-3 put out once again. Here throws a whole game and then has to come up with a couple of fires from short. So just like that, two down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Couple of really nice plays by Caden. Yeah, at the uh, high school level, there's not a lot of pitcher only, Andy. So yep. that's the nature of the beast. That one stays up. I don't lose them here, Carter. Just uh, throw a strike. It's easy. Right. Yeah, it's. And that one will catch the outside. It comes in just a little bit more. Two and one here. Two down in the bottom of the fourth inning. This one moving along pretty quickly. Three and one. That'll stay down. Got a hitter's delight here for Luke Decker. That'll stay out. Walk to Decker. Chase Kiefer to the plate for the Saints. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth. Well, Keeper hits be. it pretty hard. It's going to hang up there, though. Braden Horseman gets under that for the third out here of this fourth inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Caden Boyum will start things off for the Gophers. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the top of the fifth inning, starting things off here for the Gophers. Caden Boyum, base hit last at bat. Hits one hard. And that one's going to roll away. Caden's going to, he's going to dig for second base. He's going to have to get down and dirty. Right away, Caden. He will be safe. So a leadoff uh, hit and an extra base taken there by Caden Boyum. Good job reading that. Kept running. So Weston Nolte comes to the plate. He's going to push onto the right, right side, and that one foul. is going to go foul. But boy, you got to he hit that pretty good. Yeah, it'd be fair. Nine out of ten days. 
Well, one strike here to Weston. Nice aggressive swing over there to, to push it that way. I'll do it again, drive him in. Well, we're looking for uh, eight runs here in this inning. Weston's gonna push one down the line and he will get the out. Caden will be advanced to third base. First out here, the top of the fifth inning. Add a ring up Jack Dornack and uh, Jack, let's get a little green. Well, even with the wind, if Jack can get one down that, uh, well, he's gonna stay on the outside corner for a strike. Yeah, if you're looking for that, Jack, only got one out. That one will stay out. Good leave out there from Kozak. It'll stay down. I think he's looking for that middle in, Andy. Yep. He wants to pull the ball tonight. Evens count at two apiece. He's going to push one in that right center field gap. Uh, it's going to be caught. I get the run though. And he's gonna bring the run across. It'll make it 3-0 in favor of the Gophers. Hey, right idea there. That wind just kind of push that, boy, that pushed it a long way over to the right fielder. Chase Johnston steps to the plate. We'll see if we can start things all over again. Gophers lead this one 3-0. Well, that's a big run. Want to stay just outside. He's doing a real nice job yeah. working that outer half of the plate. Yep. He's, yep. he's he really feels, locating nicely. Feels comfortable there. Two and one, Johnston at the plate. And we'll stay outside. Drop down a little bit. Sidearm almost on that one. Yeah, yeah, he's got a couple of different arm moves, doesn't he? Yeah, a little different arm slot. Well, good job staying alive there, Chase. That was a emergency swing. <laughs> good quick hands to get around on that one. It looked like it was up just a little bit too. It, Slow roller to the third baseman. Throw is going to be offline. Chase is going to make a bit of a turn, but get right back to the bag. Yeah, nice job by the right fielder, uh, Boyum, back in that play up. Yeah, heads up, heads yeah, up. Heads up baseball there. You talk a lot about staying involved and staying engaged here, and you have to, you have to be on a swivel here. Well, look at hey. that. We got a couple coffees finally from the Flintster, Andy. The Flint Masters in the house. I think he's even got one for himself. I know that's not surprising. But not shocking. He, he probably ate the three cheeseburgers on the way. <laughs> he bet he did. <laughs> he's laughing. but Thank you, Flynn. That's the most considerate uh, seventh grader I think I know. Well, I'm guessing it was Grandma Sue's idea, not his. <laughs> Well, 2-0 count here. Carter Schlink at the plate. Chase Johnston over at first. That one's going to stay in the inner half. Where Carter swings that meta, he should he get around on that pitch on that inside. Should be able to yank it right down the line. We'll see what he can do. 
That will stay up and out. Three and one, thinking of one pitch here, Carter. Uh, maybe we can get another runner here and a pass ball, get runners in scoring position, and see if Kale can knock a couple in. Runners going, however, does not matter. It is ball four to Carter Schlink. Well, Kale, let's get off the schneid here, hit one hard. Runners on first and second, two down. Gophers lead this one three to zero. Oh, we Too almost wide. got my wish. <laughs> we almost got it. Couple good active move back there behind the plate. That one was out there. Yeah, he's a good catcher. The average catcher wouldn't have got that one. Two and zero here to Kale shot. Gophers lead this one three to zero. Two down. Kale's going to turn out of that one. Three and zero. Kozak running into a little trouble here with two down. Just needs to throw a strike here. Or not. That one will stay down and out. Uh, that'll load him up. Base is loaded here for Cole Raymaker, and uh, Cole's hit a couple of balls hard here. And uh, However, they have got trapped up in the old jet stream and hadn't had a whole lot of success. Uh, Coach McCready's going to come out and have a little talk with Kozak. Yeah, he must be getting up there on a pitch count. Yeah, he's at 75, so you know, on a day like today, that's probably getting up there for him. He's going to leave him in. Well, hit her hard, Cole. Just bring uh, bring Chase in here. Yeah, got, got him on the inside. Him a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, Gophers are going to get one here in the top of the fifth inning to make it three to zero over the St. Charles Saints. We will be back with the bottom of the fifth inning right after this. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Tommy Kozak, pitcher for St. Charles, is going to lead things off here. Going to hit one hard down the line. Cole Raymaker, nice play. Oh, oh. Would have been good a nice play one. to get to that one. Weston tried to keep it on the bag. Well, we got stepped on a little bit or just clipped just a bit by Kozak. Or just the stretch. He might have been. Uh... Birmingham comes here. Cole Remaker, a uh, nice job ranging to his right to get to that one. Yeah, just about had it. Tough play. That one will stay out. Well, Gophers lead this one 3-0, to zero, and as we've talked here, it's uh, been a pretty good pace. That one 
will stay up. Yeah, Carter, is a, he's at 54 pitches. He's been pretty efficient. Ooh. Well, Jack helped him get another one there, I think. It's cold. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's close. It's there. I like it. Burlingham, nice hard hit ball there. It could have been. Oh. Well, nice hit. Well, Saints making a little noise here in the bottom of the fifth inning here, trying to get something rolling. First two base runners are on. That'll bring uh, Brooks Boyum to the plate. Yeah, we just got to get it out here and whatever way we do it. It doesn't need to be fancy. Let's make sure we get one. Don't need to hold that runner at first base. And the wind has picked up just a little bit again. Good pitch, takes something off that and just breaks a little bit in the inside there. Ooh, looked pretty good. Pretty close there on the inside. It just missed the, just missed the corner. There Got we go, Carter, comes back. Come back. Evens account at two apiece. Well, kids tomorrow from ages, or actually grades three to six, in for the youth clinic. Yeah, that was a pretty yeah, good event it'll uh, be, uh, last year. On the ground. That away, hey. good turn. Nice. See, I told you he'd figure Six, it out. Six, four, three, double play here. Chase had the footwork and the hands ready that time. He Made a nice turn. Nice job. Well, two. Manley comes to the plate. Top of the order for the Saints. Three to zero still in favor of the Gophers. There we go. Line Just drive like off the bat of Manley, but Keaton is right there, Johnny, on the spot. Well, a double play and a line out to the shortstop here. Keeps the Gophers out of trouble. They go to the top of the sixth inning, still leading three to zero. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. Andy O'Connor along with Chris Dornack, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and we're moving along nice and quickly here in this ball game, the second uh, game of the doubleheader. Gophers took the first one 5-1 to one over the Saints. Ryan Rindle steps in. Ball one outside to him. Gophers are up in this one, three to zero. They are the visiting team of this ball game. Good hey, swing, nice. Got that bad head out there and just laid her straight up the gut. 
Ryan's had limited at bats this year, but uh, I think that only is his, maybe his fifth time at bat, and he's already got two yep. nice line drives. He's hitting the ball pretty solid. And a hit by pitch for one of them, so he's, yep. getting, he's yeah, getting on he's at a 600 clip. He's working on that on-base percentage here. Good job getting back. Burlingham uh, back to the base. I'd uh, be kind of mindful of a back pick here. Well, throw over. Pretty good move from Kozak here. Yeah, Snapped it over there nicely. Well. You know, I'm thinking, Andy, if I'm forgetting somebody here, let me know. But Ryan might be our only left-handed at bat or batter. I'm pretty sure he is. That one's going to be sprayed over right field. Caught for the first out. You get used there for the last three three years having the first couple guys in the order left-handed. Yeah. You know, yep. It, uh, a little bit getting used to not having any lefties. That one's going to stay out. 1 and 0 to Caden Boyum. Out again. Just about the same spot. Ooh, that one's going to stay in and hit him. Well, Caden, uh, he's getting in the, the Drew and Seth Getzinger uh, mold here this year. I think that's his fourth one. You know, over, I don't know, Andy, if I told you, but when we were over in Randolph uh, before the game even started, uh, there was a cut and missed, and Caden was able to take a ball right in the side of the head. Oh, jeez. Had to put the ice on it, and then he went in for the remainder of warm-ups, and then he, he did come out, and he started at shortstop. Prior to that, he went up leading off the game, and he got hit right in the spine first pitch. Oh, jeez. So I told him it comes in threes and to look out, and luckily he didn't, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get hit again. But uh, Decker's going to come in in relief once again. He did in the first game. Yeah, that's funny how uh, at some point here, somebody in the lineup just turns into a complete magnet. Oh, it's. I mean, Seth got hit, I want to say it was like 13, 14 times. It was a lot. Um one time uh, versus Pem here, he was hit three times in five at-bats. Um, so that was, uh, that was the infamous rain game that we, uh, we ended up winning in uh, walk-off in one of those games that we could have probably stopped playing here after the first few innings. It uh, constantly was coming down. Yeah, there's there's those games for sure. They kept her rolling. Uh, the softball game, I think, stopped, or they got done after five innings, and uh, we just kept rolling. And uh, it was it was an interesting game. Well, as you know, in Minnesota, we got to get them in when we can get them in. It's Well, one down here, runners on first and second after Caden Boyum is hit by that pitch. Base knock by Ryan Rindles. Weston Nolte steps to the plate. Oh, that one's gonna be on the outside. Ooh, what a nice pitch to spray down to that right side. Yeah, he was close last at bat getting one down the line. Yeah, it'll stay up, one and one. That one will stay up. Yeah, I think once Weston gets really comfortable here, he's going to start hitting, uh, probably hitting a few more doubles here and there than uh, he is right now. But uh, his uh, his bat's coming around. Oh, he's, so he's cut on the outside. He's been getting on for us, no doubt. Well, kind of a progression, you know. Uh, Caden started, you know, hitting those line drives at some point here in his junior year. He had a lot more doubles his senior year. Um, swings are similar. Caden's probably a little more uh, down on the ball, I guess. But 
Well, Caden had a little more beef yep. on him, too. Yeah, he's know, a little, little different swing. You know, mass times velocity type deal. Well, that'll bring Jack to the plate, two down here. Well, we have right center is wide open. Well, even you hit a nice hard shot line drive up the middle, boy, it might tail and run for a while. And that one's going to be fouled back. One and one. Gophers lead this one three to zero. Boy, a good cut there. Just missed that yeah, one. He's Boy, just a good cut. Just a little off today. It's going to get out of play. Two down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gophers lead this one three to zero. Looking to tack on a couple insurance runs here in the sixth and seventh. Yeah, we could even get one right now. That would be nice. Jack hanging tough. Well, that the icon has definitely has a different sound than most composites. Yeah, it does. The right side wide open, too. He's following a bunch of pitches off. Yep. Well, good productive at bat so far here for Jack. He fouled off three pitches and uh, sitting at a one and two count, just fighting them off. Good time to bust out with a base knock. Good job. Watch that one down. Evens account two apiece. Just barrel one up here. That one stays in. I think Jack was a little surprised he brought the <laughs> curve there. He hadn't seen one this at bat. I think he safely consumed he's gonna get a fastball now. He runs this one full. He kind of looked back and said, what was that? Payoff pitch. Decker steps off. Rindle's back. Hit hard to the left side. There we go, score him up. That away, Brian. Wait They're a second. gonna bring him in. The throw's gonna be high, and nice job taking that extra base. Now we're gonna score another and one. It's gonna be down the line. That away. It's gonna that play away, another boys. two runs. 5-0 in favor of the Gophers. That's what aggressive baseball does for you. You score runs. I think if uh, Keppel would have saw that Jack was rounding first there, he had a play at second there, and Caden was gonna be safe at third either mm -hmm. way. Yeah, Caden was going. As soon as that left the uh, left Kiefer's hands or hand in left uh, left field, yeah, Caden was off to the races. Johnson takes cut of that first one down and out. Own one to him. Going to screw one guy got off the end of the bat. Ooh, Just close. got him, boy. I, I guess if I were Burlingham, I probably should have flipped over. He might or not know that yep. Chase can play a little tailback, so he's, <laughs> he gets down the line. He's quick. Well, the Gophers get a couple more runs here in the top of the uh, sixth inning. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Gophers lead this one now 5-0 to zero over the St. Charles Saints. We'll be right back.
Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Delger steps to the plate for the Saints. Gophers played a two in the top of the sixth. Ooh, that's hit pretty well. It's going to hang up, though. Horse is going to have a plate. Just down the line, Braden Horseman here. Is... Wind died down just enough here. Well... Delgers hit the ball hard three times, uh, all in the same place. He's got one hit to show for yep. it and two F7s. Exactly. I think he might have had a double on another day on that one. Yeah. Well, Brock Decker comes to the plate. I'd say that might have been the hardest ball hit today right there. That it's one, he hit that, he hit that pretty well. But when it's coming across like that, boy, it's there's – not much of a chance you're going to. That one's going to stay up. So Chase Johnston on the mound. Chase's got a live arm. He just needs to get some innings in and yeah, he feel really confident. He, he gets in trouble when he loses control. He, he'll fall off to that first base side pretty aggressively. If he could just straighten that out a little bit, he would be throwing a lot more strikes. And that one's going to stay up. So first base runner here for the Saints in the bottom of the sixth inning. But Chase can bring it. He can uh, really yep. throw, throw the ball hard. Strong kid. He's uh, Yeah, there's not an ounce of fat on him. He, uh, he's a muscular boy. Or a young man, if you will. Nobody likes to be called a, a boy when they're <laughs> 17, probably. Well, you can call him anything. Not late for supper. Nope. That's it. Nope. Food rules. That one's going to come inside on Keppel. Just about got him. Yeah, anymore, Andy, at our age. Just one of these kids has got more muscle mass than both of us combined. Yeah. I'm losing it at a uh, rate of 3% a year. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Statistics show. We're halfway through this Karuba coffee, <laughs> so we're feeling good now, though. You know, it's like we're 25. That again. was, yeah, exactly. Well, I think the girls might have gotten themselves a nice coach bus here today. They must have been running low on buses. Oh, nice. Well, that's a pretty good trip, I'd say. Oh, go get him, Jack. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he was going to have me if he would have grabbed it clean. Well, I do have to say, I think Bernard's for, uh, um, I think it was last year, or actually a couple of years ago when they uh, put together, uh, they bought another bus. And uh, so Mike, you know, rest his, whole, rest his soul there. He, uh, he had... Uh, he had fixed that thing up, and uh, he decided he needed to take it out on a couple of runs. So he took him on, uh, I think, three games straight. He took the uh, coach bus for the boys, and they kind of got used to that, and they wondered why they weren't <laughs> taking the coach bus after the fact. Yeah, yeah. People might not know it in town, but Mike had lined up the concession trailer for us last year, too, and done all the work for that at no charge. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll miss Mike in town here. He's a great guy. Did a lot for the community. Be missed. Yeah, I like that. The, the, the uh, concession trailer story is one of my favorites. I go, what do you do with that? And he goes, I'm not sure. Just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> he had kind of a vision. And he uh, well, ended he, up turning it into a pretty darn nice concession, er, yeah, worked concession out well. truck. Raised quite a bit of money for the Youth Baseball Association last year. That's tagged pretty well. Kale's back on that one. Hits the cut nicely. Aiden's going to get it to uh, to Weston over at first. They're going to score the first run of the ball game for the Saints. Five to one on a ball that's tagged for a double. He really hit that one nicely. That was square. However, only brings in one run, which... Kiefer's going to come to the plate. Well, that was now the hardest hit ball. That was definitely. <laughs> he got all over that one. 
Well, five to one in favor of the Gophers. Bottom of the sixth inning. Don't put much, don't put much thought on. Don't put much thought on either one of those runners. They're not real important. Let's focus on getting the batter here. Maybe even throw one down to third. See if we can get a free one. Kiefer had made up his mind before that one got there. I think he just was way ahead of that one. One and one to him now. One down here, bottom of the sixth. Goes on the inside, strike two. Jace starting to come back. You're feeling a little bit there. Jace has got a pretty filthy curveball that you're going to see here in a second. I'm going to just predict that. There it was. Good job hanging there by Kiefer. We can't see much up here from our camera angle because you know, unlike Caden who throws more of the sweeper, Chase yep. is a true 12 to 6 curveball. It has yep. a lot of vertical drop, a lot, like a foot or more. Well, he's digging pretty hard right now. I would expect to see it again. Tried right. to get on top of it. Yeah, the old 12 to 6 can be a little bit tougher to control. Yep. Well, horse will manage that one. And they're going to concede the run there. It's going to have to be a perfect throw. Yeah, he, he wasn't coming up throwing, yep. so he kept the runner at second. That that We'll take that. That's a victory. Well, second run crosses here for the Saints in the bottom of the sixth inning, making it 5-2. to two. Gopher still up in this one. Kozak. I think I think horse might well other than Jack. Horse is probably leading the team in putouts today. He's had a lot of action out there. He's uh, he's been busy. He's gonna stay down. Yeah, he's got six fly balls this game. Who Kozak like that one? He might have had about that many last <laughs> game, too. Yeah, he I mean, was. You could sit out there in a doubleheader and not see one the whole day. A lot of activity. Ooh. Holds his swing. I keep thinking it's the seventh inning with that scoreboard out there. It's throwing me off. Yeah, whoever's running it kind of thought the same thing. They went well, right they to the seventh for us. Got a little bit confused, likely, with... Uh, you know, us being the away team for the second half mm -hmm. of the doubleheader. Well, that one kind of stays down on Caden. That's a tough one to... Well, nothing hurt yet. We just need to get an out here. Well, runners at first and third. Bottom of six. Gopher still lead this five to two. One's in the dirt. Jack's going to tag just enough of that to keep it from going to the fence. Yeah. I think the runner would have had it regardless in second, so nothing mm -hmm. hurt Jack. He's a little disappointed that he didn't corral that a little better, but he was going to have second base either way. Yeah, that's uh, depending on how that comes off the uh, well, well, off that, the dirt in front of the plate. That one hit the plate. Yeah, yeah that was, that's... You never know. Anytime you can get a, a chest on it when it hits the plate, your your money ahead. Three and oh, Johnston looking to find uh find the zone again here against Burlingham. Runners on second and third. There we go, there's your 3-0 strike. 3-1 still in uh, Burlingham's favor here. He had a base knock to the right side last at bat. And he's gonna catch the outside there. Wait, Chase, way to bear down. You know, shows a little bit uh Advancement as a player when you can get that strike. That's not an easy one to throw, 3-1 in a tight right. spot like this. He 
Yeah, I kind of would have liked to have seen a fastball right there. He yep. hasn't really been controlling that curveball. So he looks like kind of kind of gripping his elbow a little bit. So it's uh, early in the year, and he hasn't got a whole lot of innings under his belt. Uh, cold weather as well. Yeah, so cold it's weather got a, and a dozen or so curveballs. Yep. Uh, you know, you don't want to do any damage here. Probably better safe than sorry. Yep. Let him... Uh, You know, you mentioned that earlier here in uh, in the first game here. We got a lot of a lot of new faces here, and a lot of guys that are just you know, got to adjust the varsity game as well. Um, pitching and uh, you know, just playing in general here at the varsity is a little bit different than a little bit different speed and a little bit different uh, style than we're used to seeing here at most of the JV and ninth grade games. I'm guessing uh, Coach Baum didn't really want to have to use Weston today, but I think it's the right call here. Yep. He's our best strike thrower. You, know, you can come in here and hopefully shut him down and minimize the damage. Well, let's see here. We are... Uh Chase will move over to first base, which he's such an athlete, you don't think he'd be a first baseman, but I guess he's played a lot of first base coming all the way mm -hmm. up. And he does a pretty good job over there, too. Slugger will come in to second. We've got our outfielders are doing jumping jacks out there. Kale's doing a kind of a pseudo jumping jack. It must be a wrestling <laughs> jumping jack. He came prepared. He has full hood going out there. <laughs> He's got, uh, I'm, if I had to guess, I'm going to guess that's a wrestling sweatshirt underneath the jersey. Most likely. There's a large portion of his wardrobe is probably uh, grappling related, I would guess. <laughs> I would guess so. I don't see Amelia out today. It's probably a little cold for the uh, young lady. Amanda's here, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, first offering here from Weston Nolte, bottom of the sixth. Oh boy. Hit the front of the plate. Front of the plate and kind of squirreled right up Jack and hit him in the helmet and uh, fortunately stayed right in front. Yeah, a lot of backspin. Yeah. Brooks Boyum, foul ball is going to make it one apiece here. One and one to Boyum. Carter Schlink out like a rocket to get that foul ball. We got a hurt runner there, Burlingham. Must have twisted his ankle. I pulled a hammy, grabbing at the hammy. Yeah, that is not. It's the type of day where yep. you're at risk of that. We're going to get a runner for him at second base, and uh, I've only done that one time, and one time is enough with a hamstring. And uh, there's a reason that they're careful with athletes coming back too quickly from that. It's, uh, you know, I'm not an athlete. <laughs> well, you got to But, run. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, maybe you don't have to run a certain speed to pull a hammy. I don't know. but Well, sudden movement for a large individual such as myself can do it. Never had enough of a hamstring to pull it. It was always more of a groin pull. Or a flexor. Those aren't any fun either because no. it takes all summer to heal. Weston's going to try to bring that on the inside. Two and one here to Brooks Boyum. Two down in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gophers up in this one. 5-2. Quite a quell this uh Quell this run from uh, the Saints. Three and one hitters to late for Boyum. I imagine he's going to have the old take on. And 
Austin's going to leave that one out. Going to make it 5-3. to three. So St. Charles not going away quietly into the cold night. That's oh, for sure. Uh, it's gotten interesting here now. And that'll bring up Manley, who's hit the ball hard a few times here tonight. Yeah, he, uh, he could use a step to his right here, old Caden. He's been bolting that hole about every time. Going to stay in 1 0. Well, Andy, I hate to report it, but our coffee's cold already. <laughs> Strike on the outside from Weston Nolte evens this one up at 1 and 1. Just outside. Weston tried to nibble on that outside corner. Just missed her two and one. Yeah, just come back with one here. And Boyum. he's gonna even this one up. Yeah, two Boyum's and two. He's got a nice looking swing. Well, this is Manly here. Oh, no. Oh. Yep, Boyum walked this. Oh, I didn't update yep. the score sheet. <laughs> Oh, that one stays just up. Boy, that uh, looked pretty good. Well, Manley also has a very nice swing. He's hit the <laughs> ball hard a number of times today. Well, Weston's got to bring it. Bases are loaded. Just step on one here. Weston's going to field oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he hit two outs. Had to think about it for a second. He goes to first gotta, base to get the out. Got to know the situation. We got no many outs. Woo. No harm, though. No harm. We Weston's yeah, we're kind of laughing on the way uh, back, and he's kind of one of those moments where you're like, "Oh, well, I told you." Here we go. I, I, I told you the story <laughs> about the Flinster in our our game where we were up uh, six runs in the bottom of the six, which is six inning game. Yep. And uh, we had a we're coming up against time limit, and he came in to pitch, and we only needed one more out. And I told him, "Well, use up as much time as you can because you know we don't want to go." We don't want, it was actually the fifth inning. We didn't want to go into the sixth inning. We want to hit time limit. So we got a ball just like that hit right to him. And rather than just flipping it over there and getting the third out, he decided it would be a, a good idea to run to first base to kill a little more time is what his mind was thinking. And uh, you know how well the Flinster runs. Not well. <laughs> so he, uh guy beat him over to first base, and then they went on and scored uh, six runs and beat us. <laughs> oh. So I like to give him a hard time about that from time to time. But was that in the Winona or the Good View? No, nope, that, that was weekend, uh, that was against Bloomington, and uh, was the number one seed in that tournament. Mm -hmm. We were kind of the underdogs, and that was up in the Rochester tournament, and uh, that was going to send us to state, but uh, it all backfired on us. <laughs> Worst part about that was he actually beat the guy to first base, and, and he got a. He put his foot down, and the other guy's cleat came on top of his foot on top of ah, it, so he had a bruised foot. On yep. Insult to, or injury <laughs> to insult, I guess is how you'd say that. But oh, Live and learn. It's a humbling game. Yep. It's a humbling game. Well, Decker on the mound is done with his warm-up tosses, and uh, nice toss down there, Bum Keppel. Well, we got, out of that, uh, we got out of that one, Andy, and minimized what it could have yep. been. So we're all right here. Well, forcing that out from Manley, uh, that comebacker to the mound was huge because he has hit the ball hard. and uh, Yeah, he has. Aiden Johns root at the plate. Decker delivers. Aiden's going to scroll one off to the right side. Oh, almost had it. Nice play by Manley at second base. Got a nice jump on that one. Just enough lift on it. Well, Kale Shot steps to the plate. That'll stay on the outside. Now, Kale's been getting himself fisted a fair amount here early in the year, and he's right on top of the plate. So he either needs to start hitting that pitch or backing off the plate a little bit. And he'll lean right over, as you see here. Like there we go. There's there a hard hit ball for pitch. him. That'll get him going. 
So a hit for Kale Shot here, one down in the top of the seventh inning. Gophers are up in this one, five to three. String cool. a few of those Rainmaker ones together. together. That one came across the plate beautifully for him, and he just uh, took a great cut at that. Yeah, he was, he was on time. It was a good swing. Ooh. We haven't seen a lot of line drives today, so that was nice to see. It, it was very nice. I bet it felt good, too. That one's going to stay down and away. Good pitch here from Decker. Cole a little upset with himself on taking a cut at that, but he's, he'll be all right. And good job bringing that breaker in on that outside. That'll bring up Ryan Rindles. And we are gonna get a pinch hitter. Here comes Thane Shield. Thaner. So Thane Shield steps to the plate. Two down here in the top of the seventh inning. That one's gonna stay up and away. Kale off and running. Get around and look. Yeah, Kale guessed right. He was holding the ball forever and ever and ever. And first move, Kale was off. I don't know if that was a pitch out or he just lost the grip. But. Yeah. Well, 2-0 and oh here to Thane Shield, who's pinch hitting now with two down in the top of the seventh. Thaner pushes one the other way. Hat comes off, and the, ooh, that's going to drift a little more than I thought, but oh, that's yeah. going to be the third out of Happy this uh, out there, but he seventh. <laughs> well, the Gophers go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Saints up to bat. They will bring uh, Kate Delger, Brock Decker, and Brendan Keppel to the plate. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Gophers hanging on to a 5-3 lead. Caden, or er, Weston Nolte on the bump. Hey, there's that curveball. There, he's got it now. Just had to warm up a little bit. Ooh. Good pitch on the outside and a good frame. Tried to bring that one back. Just about got Delta to an 0-2 count. Delta's gonna hit one hard down the left field line. Fielded cleanly by Braden Horseman. First runner on for the Saints. Nice hard hit ball again for Delta. Yeah, two for four on the day. Everything to the same spot. Well, 5-3, bottom of seven. I 
That should hang up. Braden Horseman. Hey, Braden. Makes the play, gets it into to Caden Boyum. One down here, bottom of seven. Gophers hanging on to that 5-3 lead. Brendan Keppel to the plate. Horse is going to have a sore hand out He's there. <laughs> Statistically, he is on fire defensively. Well, I don't think he has any errors on the year, but even if he has one now, he's still going to be having he's about a 95% fielding rate. His, his percentage is going to be pretty darn nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Nice. I just stick with that, Weston. He don't like that at all. Well, I think Keppel was taken the whole way, obviously. You need two runs. Hurt to throw over there. Big lead. Try to get a free one here. He's on second. It doesn't really make much difference. Somewhere over. Well, he gets him. First two guys are going to be on here. Ooh, back. Decker hits that one hard. That's going to be over Kale Shot's head. Got Keppel coming oh, hard in. They're going to hold him at third base. Well, it's going to make it five to four, though. Thank you for not sending him. Would have been standing there. Well, Decker's uh, stroked the ball pretty well two times in a row now. That was twice here. He uh, gave that one a ride here. Well, five to four. Boy, things are getting interesting now. We got runners at second and third. One down. I can't believe you didn't send him there. I was thinking the same thing. Um, boy, when he was pretty adamant about staying on the base, though. I thought maybe he'd make it. He'd make that round when they. Uh, you, I don't know why you would not round. Yeah, you got you to make that round and the ball's uh, make out it interesting. Right field, right. Well, make it interesting, plus um, the uh, yeah I don't the know relay was to. the relay was bobbled. Um, I think he probably would have been safe, but in a ball game like this, he just scored the fourth run and to get within one, I suppose you want to keep that. Uh, well, I think he was on third base yeah. by the time it even got to the cutoff guy, so he yeah. should just walked in after he missed it. Keppel runs well. He he yeah, would have been in good shape. Yeah. Well, we'll take it. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, get a strikeout and dribble work. to the pitcher and get out of here. Yep, work out of this. And that's going to be strike one to Kiefer. Well, Kiefer, uh, I think if uh, Weston can stay up in the zone, he's chased a couple of pitches up there today. But he's going to hit one hard. Horseman again with another play, and that's going to tie the ball game at five. Well, uh, well, five apiece here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Two down after that fly ball. Yeah, that would have been the winning run if they would have they would have moved the runners there, maybe. So we'll take it. Just got to get out of this and go get some hits. That's going to bring up Kozak. Runner on second base. Ooh, steps out. Good bender to start things. Ooh. 
Kozak's going to hit one down the line. Middle of nowhere with that good, one. Good it's hustle, just, uh, Cole. <laughs> well, he's going to go up quickly, 0-2. Kozak, the number seven batter in the Saints lineup. Yeah, he's a, I think he's a pretty good hitter, though. You don't want to take him lightly here. Don't give him anything too good. Weston gasses it up, goes to the outside. Good purpose pitch. Everything in front here, Jack. We'll keep that runner on second base. One and two. Uh, That's going to be a base hit up the middle. Ben Carrier's going to come in and play that one. Throw's going to be up the line, and he's going to tag him out. Nice job getting good that throw, one in ben. from Benny. Nice job. He's going to save that run. Big big play. Big play. Jack had two hands on it and still almost yep. lost it on that. Well, that thing, when it got out there, it took kind of a crazy bounce. It got up into Ben's chest almost. He did a really nice job with the transfer from uh, his glove to the hand and a uh, good one-hop throw to the plate. And uh, just like that, however, we go to a tie ball game, five apiece, Gophers and Saints. Chatfield up to bat. I believe we have Caden Boyum leading things off here in the top of the eighth inning. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back, Gopher fans. I was in air once again here. Braden Horseman's going to start things off. Base knock last time. Might be in there. He's going to push that one to the right side, and we'll see how much it tails. Ooh, snow cone over right on the line for the first out of this, uh, of this eighth inning. You know, normally I like to see uh, Extra inning ball games uh, when it's 79 <laughs> degrees out, but hey. Yeah, well, it's not 79. <laughs> Might be 39. I, I think you're right. Maybe. 39 and uh, potentially uh, 25 with the wind chill or less. But ball one to Caden Boyum. Get out of play. He's going to squirrel that one off to the right, and that will be over the Saints dugout. One and one to Caden Boyum. Just find a way to get one across here and uh, we'll work on the rest later. One and one, Caden Boyum at the plate. One down here, top of eight. Yeah, Caden, if he could just get you on anyway here and can put your wheels in action. Steal a couple of bases. Yeah, yeah one for sure. That's in there. That one's going to go on down the right field line. Fielded cleanly, however. Now let's get him moving. Good job. Something cooking here in the top of the eighth. Weston Nolte comes to the plate. And Weston would like nothing more than to get going himself here. So uh, good time to do it.
Oh. Gonna hit one on the ground. Run it out, Weston. Run, 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 run. And he will be safe at first base. Well, that's good. Give us a chance here. That'll bring up Jack Dornack. Jack's gonna require a double bacon cheeseburger tonight. Well, a double into that right center gap, which is huge right now, would maybe even score a run. That would be all right. Decker coming inside on him. I just like to see him kind of hang one on that inside half and maybe yank one down the line. There we go. Eh, it's going to hang up. No, it's going to drop. Weston Nolte is going to advance to third base. Jack's going to go to second with a double. Here we go. I thought that was going to be a routine, and, and then he just didn't get there. So Chase Johnston comes through the plate with the runners at second and third, and two down here in the top of the eighth inning. That might have been the ugliest double I've ever That's seen. <laughs> Hit her hard. Good cut. Chase can just shoot one somewhere here and get two runs. Must not be able to use a runner. Slugger was running for him. Yep. I think we're out of yeah, bench. I think we're out of bench players. Yeah, uh, we are. I think. Yeah. Nice cut here. Decker comes uh, right down the middle of that. What a nice pitch to hit and chase it. It uh, falls that one straight back. One's going to stay down. One and two to Chase Johnston. Don't need to do too much here. Just shoot it somewhere. Going to go down to third throw base. Oh, good throw good over play. to first. And that's going to end the threat. We're runner stranded on second and third. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Tied up at five apiece against the St. Charles Saints. So we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Gopher fans. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We got extra innings. Friday night under yeah, the lights. Here we are. Except there's no lights. Weston Nolte comes right down Main Street with a fastball to start ahead, 0-1. Well, it's 7.42, so we're kind of right in that start time for the whole varsity football game. Yep, we are. Uh, and it feels like football weather. That one's going to stay up. That is true. A 
one and one here. Oh, and that one, see if Kale's gonna get to that. He makes the play. Uh, nice job. One down here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Nice to see Kale make that play. That wasn't an easy one. Oh, that was getting pushed down as well. He uh, takes a little different angle on that. He might not get to it. Well, high and tight here. Brooks Boyum at the plate. The old Carolina blue for the cleats tonight. It's a little piece of it. Weston uh, starting to warm up just a little bit. Boyum gets the uh, bat out on that. Uh, Weston, however, goes up one and two in the count. Yeah, something, something filthy here, Weston. Let's see if we can get a strike out. And he comes hard on the inside and takes down Boyum. That's the second out of the bottom of the eighth inning. This one's knotted at five. Galvin Manley, top of the order, comes up. Well, he's been tattooing horse out there. Maybe a grounder to the left side. Caden goes into the hole. He's not going to get him. Well, well uh, Cole Raymaker tried to come across and make that play. Uh, Manley runs well, and that would have been a tough one going to his left to kind of stop his momentum and come it back. But... Uh, Delger comes to the plate. Two down here in the bottom of the eighth. Knotted at five. He's going to come inside. Just about got him. Or these guys wear a little bit bigger pants. They would have had a couple of... Uh, <laughs> Manley at first with two down. That one's going to go outside. Chase, you got to get off the bag, bud. That's going to stay up. So 3-0 and oh here to Delger. That one will stay for a strike. Still 3-1. and one. Hitter's delight still for Delger. And we'll stay up and out. Well, let's a couple of base runners here. here, runners at first and second. That will bring up Decker. Brock Decker, that is. He's hit the ball hard a couple of times here as well. Two down, however, in the bottom of the eighth. Weston trying to work out of a jam. Breaking ball down, and Decker was... Uh, Probably knows he should be taking that strike or taking a taking a strike, but he really wanted to take a cut of that first pitch. Oh, you, everybody wants to drive in that go-ahead run. That one's going to be hit hard to the left side. They're going to send him. The cut is throw is not in time. St. Charles comes back from 5-0 down to win this one in eight innings, six to five over the Chatfield Gophers. Chatfield and St. Charles split this doubleheader. Chatfield takes that first one, 5-1, and St. Charles takes the second one, 6-5. Well, being as it may here, we uh, go on the road next week. Um, and uh, let's see, where are we on Tuesday night? We are at uh, 
Ooh, I have to look myself. We're on the road, however. We won't be back broadcasting again until uh, end of next week at least. Then we have another game May 8th here that got rescheduled against Fillmore Central. That's going to be an early game at 3 p.m. Well, Chris and I are going to path things up here. Uh, thank you for joining us here this evening, folks. Be yeah. safe, stay warm, and uh, we'll see you soon.